Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. I'm delighted to join you at the Bloomberg Year Ahead Summit. My name is Simon Freakley. I'm chief executive of Alex Partners, the global consulting firm. And I'd like to talk to you for the next 10 minutes about our own view as to the year ahead, specifically why disruption is going to be the main challenge for companies and societies going forward. When I started my career in consulting, I was working with a chief executive of a company. I remember so clearly he said to me, Simon, first of all, things started going wrong slowly for my company, and then they went wrong quickly. The truth is that in today's environment, companies are more vulnerable than ever to disruption. In conversations with clients around the world, the common theme to those, discuss those discussions is the amount of disruption they're experiencing in their markets and their geographies. If there's one thing that I hope you'll remember from my remarks today, is that by taking control and disrupting ourselves before our competitors and our markets do it to us, we will stop things going wrong slowly or quickly. So why disruption? Well, if you think that the largest provider of hotel accommodation in the world doesn't own one hotel room, Airbnb, or the largest provider of limousine services in the world doesn't own one limousine, Uber, or a relatively new entrant into the auto industry, Tesla, is today worth more than all of the major automat automotive makers combined with only 2% of the revenues, the world is clearly profoundly disrupted. So why Alex Partners and disruption? Well, we're most famous probably for the work that we do with distressed companies, but in truth, that's only 20% of what we do. Over 80% of what we do is working with healthy companies to accelerate their transformations, turbocharge their growth and profitability. And what we realized was that in the challenges that we were helping our clients address, that disruption was a common denominator. So we decided to study it. We looked at 635 of the largest companies around the world in a number of industries on 65 global exchanges. And we started to look for some of the common features of issues that they were dealing with. But also, as we split them into quartiles, what were the features of the top performers and also the bottom performers? And what could we learn from that? We produced our first Alex Partners Disruption Insights report, and I rolled that out at the World Economic Forum in Davos exactly a year ago. What that work showed was that if we were ever in any doubt, disruption was indeed the main economic driver facing all companies around the world. But then, of course, just weeks later, COVID-19 took hold the mother of all disruptions happened. And if we were in any doubt at all, we now knew that disruption was everybody's principal challenge. And what we found, of course, was that COVID-19 not only was a major disruption, but it acted as an accelerator of other disruptions too. It profoundly changed people's buying behavior. So much of the world, the white collar workers particularly were working remotely. And so COVID-19 became an accelerant of all other disruptions. So as we studied these 635 companies, what did we find? Well, we found that the disruptions affecting those companies were actually quite similar. Regulatory issues, societal issues, economic issues. That isn't new news. But what we also found was that the complexity and degree of interconnection between those disruptive forces was profound. When we looked at technological disruption and specifically drilled into connectivity, we found that not only was connectivity a disruptor in itself, but it acted as an accelerant to so many other disruptors. 
There are approximately 3 billion smartphones in the world, and studies show that a smartphone user accesses their smartphone by at least three hours a day on average. The connectivity created and the changes that has enabled have been really significant. An example, of course, is the lunge to online that came on the back of the pandemic. In eight weeks of lockdown, e-commerce as a percentage of US retail sales grew by as much as they had in the previous five years. Other factors are also affecting every industry. Aging populations, the growing gap in income disparity, the move to urban populations. Disruption is happening in every industry and every geography. The one thing for sure is that we're in a fast changing environment. So let's go back to the people we studied. I mentioned that we looked at the top quartile and the bottom quartile, and we did find some industry-specific learning from that, but also some general learning. Our report is available if you'd like to see it. I don't have time, I'm afraid, today to go into the detail of what we found, but one thing stood out from everything, which is that those companies that lent into their own accelerated transformation, the companies that disrupted themselves and got ahead of the game, were the companies that were in the top quartile performers of every industry. What did they do? They did a few things really well. They prioritized where they were going to place their bets and invest in their businesses. They rigorously executed their strategies. It very much reinforced our own learning, which was that a solid strategy implemented rigorously will always outperform a perfect strategy poorly implemented. And then finally, they really, really took responsibility for communication. Their chief executives and senior leaders almost become their chief communication officers. They clearly articulated the end state the business should be at, and they did that communication repetitively. They prioritized they executed and they communicated, a feature of all the top performers. We're currently finalizing our 2021 study and we'll be rolling this out with Bloomberg in the spring. We've interviewed 3,000 senior executives around the world to understand how they see the challenges in their own businesses and industries. And the common denominator to every single conversation is that they see disruption as their primary challenge for their companies and the societies in which they operate. What's also so interesting from those interviews is that less than half of the people we interviewed felt that the companies had what it took to rise to the challenge of the multiple and repetitive disruptions that they were facing, particularly in the area of talent. More to come on this, and uh, hopefully you'll join us in the spring to hear about our detailed findings. So in wrapping up, disruption will continue to have a very, very significant impact on all of our businesses and our industries. The disruptions will be more impactful and more frequent than ever before. There's no room for complacency. The gap between winners and losers in every industry is widening. The single most important lesson is that we all need to transform our own businesses before our competitors and our markets do it to us. Disruption really is the new economic driver. One thing before I finish. I mentioned that more than 80% of what Alex Partners does in partnering with companies around the world is looking at the accelerated transformation of their healthy companies. And in truth, the work that we do to accelerate their transformation is not that different to what we do in supporting distressed companies and turning themselves around, though often the timescales available for distressed companies are shorter. But there is one critical difference that we see 
which is that many healthy companies don't understand the need or the urgency to change. The case for change has to be made clearly and explicitly by the leaders of those businesses for it to happen. So be your own disruptor before things go wrong slowly or quickly. That's what the best companies do. That's what the best leaderships do. And the truth is that fortune really does favor the bold. Thank you.